Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the world, and this is fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. So this is an energy of closure, completion, and in a successful way, there's a feeling of graduating to the next level, being done with something, having put something to rest, or having successfully completed a chapter or a phase. So let's see. We have the Knight of Cups, Water energy, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, earth energy and we have the devil capricorn energy so there could have been something like a cycle that you were in with someone that was kind of addictive it was kind of obsessive it was hard to release but with the devil there's it's almost like it was in an unhealthy way um the connection itself could have been toxic or just the attachments may have been unhealthy to some degree it looks like you'll be gaining mastery over this though um there's a feeling of overcoming fear and um, any like limiting beliefs or self-esteem issues that may exist, you will be overcoming them because we have the five of pentacles in the reverse. So this person, you may have a lot of love for them. There may be a lot of feelings with the knight of cups. It could be a very romantic connection. This person may have really swept you off your feet in the beginning. And over time, the connection became somewhat addictive or like um, toxic, you know, or codependent, some, something unhealthy with the devil being there. And you may have felt like there was a soul tie that was very hard to break. You may have actually distanced yourself from this person temporarily, or they may have distanced themselves from you. With the Five of Pentacles, they could have even ghosted. There's something here about distance and a return, you know, because we do have the world. It's almost like this person showing up in your life again is acting as a form of closure. You know, it's like them revisiting, revisiting the situation it's kind of going to confirm to you that, yeah, you've leveled up from this. You've learned from this. You are no longer who you used to be. And you are ready for a new chapter, a new beginning. Um, so it's almost like the devil is showing up, but you're not really falling for it this time. Let's clarify these cards, Cancer. We have the justice card and this is libra energy so yeah it's a card of karma it's a card of fairness it's like you're going to get your justice your good karma there's a lesson here that you are passing like you're passing a test or a temptation that you used to fall for you're not falling for this time you could also be getting an apology from this person because we are seeing an energy of justice and closure okay so let's see we have the Death card, Scorpio energy, the Eight of Cups, Water energy, and the Nine of Cups, Water energy. Yes, yeah, so you're finally being able to put this to rest. The Death card is an energy of letting go. It's a, an energy of evolving, changing, transforming, you know, and it looks like this is what's happening, yeah. Like the old version of you may have been very attached to this kind of toxicity, but you've changed. Um, you, it's like you've learned your worth. With the Eight of Cups, there's this feeling of knowing your worth, having too much self-respect and dignity to entertain the situation again. Um, the Nine of Cups is also an energy of self-love and containment on your own. So yeah, it looks like you're finally saying no to something that was really hard for you to say no to in the past. And you're saying goodbye to this devil energy. Something that was like a soul tie. There's a feeling of walking away and, you know, being happy with that, like being in a good place where it doesn't hurt to, to leave this. Like um, a karmic cycle is complete here. 
Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. We have believe in the impossible blue moon so this could be something you you felt very much enslaved to like it was really hard to do this but you've reached this point where you, it's like this is finally done something is finished okay so let's see Okay, we have it is safe for you to love go ahead and make the romantic gesture yeah you, you you are safe here to come from your heart space it looks like you may have been attached to the situation out of fear or even out of coercion you know there's something here about limiting beliefs um but it looks like you're reconnecting to your heart space and you're learning to trust yourself again okay so let's see Also, if this person is extending an apology, you are uh, being told here that it's genuine, like it's safe to believe this apology, like this is someone who is apologetic. Okay, we have morning glory, affection and determination. The morning glory, which differs from the giant pine. The morning glory, which blooms for a day, differs not at all heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years so yeah there is this feeling here of you overcoming or defeating something you feeling proud of yourself you feeling like you really accomplished something that once was kind of like a weakness okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice cancer Okay, we have surrender stubbornness if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself okay so that's what i'm seeing for you cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer